welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my red Christmas look and I love it. Um, I'm always a bit hesitant to use red only because depending on your skin tone and if you're like me with dark circles it can sometimes make you look sick. But I really, really like the way this turned out. So I'm going to show you guys two lip combos. This is the first one, and if you wait till the end of the video, you will see the second. But I hope you guys like this look. If you recreate it, or any of my holiday looks, please hit me up on all my social media and let me know. I would love to see how you guys do it and how it looks on you guys. I'm sure you'd all look fabulous. But I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And yeah, so please like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, leave me down a comment down below but one thing you're looking forward to this Christmas or this holiday season and if you want to see how I get this look, keep on watching. So the first color I'm using is kind of like an off-white creamy taupe color and I'm just going to brush this through my crease and up towards my brow bone just to give a nice transition color. And then the next color I'm going to is more of a taupey cream color, um, a little bit more uh, pigmented and a little bit darker. And I'm just going to wash this all over my lid, again, just to help with all the colors transitioning. And then for the next color, I'm using basically, it's close to white, it's probably a little bit off-white, and I'm just going to be packing this on the inner third of my lid, as well as my inner tear duct. And then I'm going in with a bright red, and I'm using a pencil brush. I'm going to do almost like a cut crease at first and just work it into my socket to get the nice shape. And I'm also going to put a nice sharp wing with the red color, which we will blend out a little bit later. If you want to keep it sharp at the end of the look, you could put some tape down first. And I'm just taking this angled shader brush and I'm going to just build the red into my crease and onto my lid to get the perfect placement. Eventually it'll take about two thirds of your lid. And now I'm taking another pencil brush and a warm brown shade. It needs to be a warm shade so it helps to blend in nicely with the red. And I'm putting it basically everywhere there is red. And it's just going to darken it up just enough that it doesn't give you that sick red eye look. And I'm just going to keep blending until I'm happy with the placement, the shape, and the color. And next I'm taking a white eyeliner and putting this in my bottom waterline. And this too is going to help keep your eyes bright and not looking sick. And I'm going to just set that with the same color we have on our inner tear duct and our inner third of our lid. Now I'm going to go in with that same brown shade on the pencil brush and just put it in the outer third of my bottom lash line just to give some color to them to have some cohesion. And then I'm just going to take this liquid eyeliner and I'm going to do a modest wing on this look. Again, with wings, guys, you can do it to your preference, as little or as large as you like. And of course, I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to put it on my top and my bottom lashes. And then what I'm going to do is pop off camera for a second, and I'm going to add some more natural-looking falsies as compared to the ones I've used in my last two looks. So now to finish the face, I've already done my foundation and my contour. I'm using a highlight. I'm just going to buff that into the tops of my cheeks, as well as the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then for blush today, I'm going in with a very, very soft, mauvey, orangey pink. And I'm going to just put that on my cheeks to give me a nice flush. And as always, I put it on the backs of my cheeks because it just suits my face shape better. Now for the first lip, as you saw, is a nude. So I'm just using my NYX Natural Liner. I'm going to fully line and fill in my lips and then just pop a slightly lighter nude on my lips. I can't wear this by itself, but it's just enough when you have the liner underneath. And that's what the look looks like with just the nude lip. And now onto the red. I'm using one of my new red liners I got off the Morphe website. And I'm going to just use it as an outer liner. I'm not filling it in. And I'm going to let my lipstick do the rest. And there you can see what the look looks like with red lips as well as the red eyes. So that's the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed both lip, lip combinations. Uh, I think you can totally rock it with either, just your preference. Uh, some people don't like to have competing features, but I really like the way this looks. And of course, you can change up whether you have a darker red, a more burgundy red, just depending on the red shadow that you have. 
but this like really true bright glossy red looks fantastic. So like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I do have a few more holiday videos coming up. One is a collaboration with several other YouTubers on here. A uh, couple of um, lookbooks, one for Christmas and one for New Year's, as well as some hair looks and other things like that for the holidays. So be sure to keep an eye out for those and subscribe if you aren't already. It really does make my day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!